Did you put the onions in yet? So you start at the at the farthest place away from where you're coming in. So I started here. And this is where I put the first bale down because you don't want to have to be dodging it. And what I do all the time, and I don't know why I do it, it's so stupid. I get all excited about covering up the places that, that are the ugliest and I forget that they're right in my path. And mulch is fine to go on once it's had a chance to settle. But in the beginning, it's very fluffy and very hard to get a wheelbarrow over. And the other thing is once I pop these, or once I place them, I pop them immediately because otherwise I get distracted and, and pull them to other places thinking they need them more. If I don't just open them right now, I have a tendency to not actually apply the mulch and to move them to somewhere else. So this is what it looks like after I have come in and kicked it around a little bit. Um, this didn't need to be done. It's still soft and airy and has plenty on it. So what I did was I took my grain and anywhere that I had kicked it up, I poured grain on top of these bales that I've kind of kicked around a little bit. And I'll show this to you tomorrow. And what it'll look like is this. They'll, they'll do all that in a very short amount of time and it'll look really pretty. And it'll cover up a lot of the chicken feathers and garbage out here that the girls have left that's biodegradable like the paper. So it'll look a lot better. I have a tree in the front that is crunchy leaf. This tree was planted at the same time and it gets water maybe once a month and it is back here in the backyard again where it's like the face of the sun. And then here's my tomatoes that don't get watered at all. And they're huge. In this area this is where we had our miniature cow, not last winter, but the winter before. So it's had manure and straw layered on it and then left to rest for, for one year. And then this is where I planted these new trees. So these trees. Okay, so I have moved all my cool weather plants here underneath the swing set. My kids don't play in this area. So I dug away all the mulch so that they're in contact with bare soil. I dumped three buckets of really, really strong rabbit manure tea on the dirt, put the boxes in, pushed the mulch up back around them. I have a, a frost cloth on the back ready to be put on at any minute. And this is not a, like my kids can still swing. This won't be in their way. And I think it'll be a fun place to harvest um, strawberries and peas from anyway. These are duck eggs. They are my favorite kind of egg. The thing about ducks is that they don't lay them in a nest. They kind of just lay them out everywhere. But they're hard as rocks. They're really, really hard to get the, the shell to crack. And they are just wonderful. They are my favorite egg. And we're really lucky because the, the younger ducks just barely started laying just as we're going into winter. Just as the chickens are stopping laying. I just went out and thinned my winter beds. So I pulled out a whole bunch of radishes. These were the ones that had no uh, damage to them. Some of the others had some worms in them and stuff, but these are perfect. These were purple plum, I believe. You can see how big they are. And then I had some mullein that I had planted in with those, so I'm gonna dry that. And then I had a squash that I pulled out. Kind of fun.